Okay guys, we've got an update. Um, we just got ready to go to the open day, right? And we were just heading to the train station and then my midget bike looks a little bit not right. Um, so I was like, let's pop into the pharmacy. So we just did. And they've said, like, you have to immediately go to a doctor. Like, that's not right. You need to go to a doctor. So now we're going to a doctor. And she was like, they'll probably send you to the ER where you will wait four hours. Now, I'm not being funny, but we came to Italy just to go to this open day. Like, that's the whole point. And now, because of getting stung by a mosquito, I now have to go to the ER. What the hell? I was so freaked out. Um, I'm actually in a lot of pain, so I do want to go to the doctor. Like, I am going to go. Like, um, it's important, but I'm not going to lie. I'm really freaked out. Guys, not gonna lie, we're, oh my God, that looks awful. Um, we're super freaked out right now. Um, you would have seen the clips before, yeah? And some sort of needle was put inside me, yeah? No, you know what, I won't go into the details, but <laughs> I'm so freaked out. They said I'll probably need to get my leg cut open a bit at the hospital. Don't talk to me, I'm not right. I'm not feeling right, and this is like, Look at the state of this, it's raining. Oh my god, this isn't funny, literally. The guy stuck a needle in my leg, I'm not joking. And, um, I don't know, look at it now. They said I might need to go to hospital and have it, like, cut open. Help. Ignore the state of me, I need to sort myself out. Like, look, apparently my jacket isn't waterproof. Um, look at all these like medically type things that I have here. Like, <laughs> I've got this and my antibiotic. Honestly, I think the most amount of money we have spent has been at pharmacies. I swear. Oh my god. Basically, there's two sessions for the open day. There's one in the morning, which I signed up for, and there's one at in the afternoon but the venue have been really good and really kind and said that we can go to the later one and like if there's anything they can do to help like that's so nice but I just <laughs> I actually like I'm so bad of like medical stuff like medical anything freaks me out and the fact they put like a weird needle thing in me I don't know what he was doing there's like no I can't even talk about it I feel really sick and like I don't know what these medicines are do you know what I mean I d they barely could speak the doctor couldn't speak any English. It was like this other lady that was doing it. Like, honest, I'm freaked out. I'm so freaked out. So now I'm going to take these medicines and hope that it, it helps because I'm really worried about it. So that's how my morning's going. Hello, we're now off to the castle. We look a lot worse than earlier. Well, Tom doesn't, but I do. But who cares? Um, we were supposed to get the train, but um, they decided to have a strike and cancelled them all just as we got there. Love that. So now we're on like a two bus journey and we have to get a taxi after that or something. So why don't we just add that to the things that have gone wrong? having another issue. Oh, we got off the bus in the town where we're going to get married, where the castle is. In a quarter of a mile, turn right on via a la car. We couldn't find a way to get to the castle, like taxis, nothing, no buses, nothing. Which obviously for the wedding isn't a problem because you just hire cars and whatnot. But um, for us getting there with an injury, look, I'm using this as a stick. It is a little bit of a problem. And we can see the castle bits up this massive hill and it's taking us a long way around. 
basically um, we have to walk a total of 50 minutes with my injury and I'm not feeling well at all. Please help. You guys, can we just ask some locals for directions? Because we've been walking for about an hour up steep, steep hills. And they just said, turn left, right, blah, blah, blah. And then they were like, watch out for this bit that's in a forest that is steep and dangerous. <laughs> Honest to God, I'm going to camp out up here. I literally don't care. Like, I am so done. <laughs> Thomas is eating octopus. Go. Nice. Thumbs up if you like it. Okay, so it took us one hour 45 to hike up that mountain. We're not going to talk about that. My foot is so swollen, it is unreal. Anyways, we got to the venue, it was perfect, exactly what we thought it would be. I'll insert some clips that I got, um, but I can't really speak right now, I'm not feeling well. I just wanted to say that luckily we met these lovely people, well the owner helped us find these lovely people that gave us a lift down. Because if we had to walk, I would be sleeping up there in the mountain, in the trees, I don't care. But yeah, now we're waiting on a train that hopefully isn't striped and trying to get home. Hey guys, it's like 7.30. I think it's bedtime for us, honestly. The longest day and everything is sore. And I'm really worried about um, complications of infection and stuff like that. So I'm really, really anxious. I look really weird lying like that. Um, so yeah, I think I might, I don't know if I'll add more about the venue, I just don't feel like talking right now, but I just wanted to update that. Um, and I think we have to cut our activities tomorrow in Milan short because I definitely cannot walk around. Like my foot is so swollen and in so much pain. So it's a shame, but hopefully we'll be back hello so we are now off to milan we had to check out um, at like 10 this morning so we're on our way to milan now um, and we're gonna just quickly zoom past the big cathedral and the like famous like shopping quarter but other than that i don't think we're gonna do what we actually had planned because I don't feel well at all and I can barely walk. I'm literally using this umbrella as a walking stick and took all my nails off. Mm. But yeah, we just can't wait to be home. But it's just unfortunate that we've um, booked <laughs> to go via Ireland, which is not really wanted right now. But yeah, here's some beautiful views. Guys, we had such a stressful day today, but we finally are at the airport. Um, I just got locked in another toilet. I didn't have my phone with me, so I was actually panicking. Um, and I'm actually worried about my foot, um, like going on the flight, but we managed to get through with Mr. Umbrella. So hopefully I can continue to use that as a little stick to help me walk. 
but I think we're just about to board like we just got here and we're like about to board like we've never cut it so short before but what's new so yeah